I am doing uh, PRP with exosomes in my head for hair growth. Ah, a laundry list of things. I tried, uh, was it uh, minoxidil, Rogaine, uh, Propecia. I also tried some just, you know, supplements I found like on Amazon over the counter that's supposed to regrow your hair and all this kind of stuff and nothing has really done anything. Uh, I'm really excited about uh, PRP because I know that that can trigger hair growth, but I'm also really excited about kicking this up a notch to exosomes because exosomes, from what I understand, basically tell the tissue to be younger again back before you had a hair loss problem. So I'm really looking forward to um, restoring my youthful head of hair. Uh, anything. <laughs> anything that fills it in a little bit or makes it look a little bit. Um, I feel like each year as the years go on, I see my forehead grow and I see more s patches of my scalp, especially if I'm out in the sun. So anything that trends me in a little bit better direction, I'd be happy with. So David, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start injecting along the crown line and then I'll take a path and with the path I basically am going down um, all the way to you know that middle part where most guys have that balding spot mm -hmm. um, and then I'll go into uh, layers of it. Great. I try to go fast for you but let me know if I'm going too fast you know what's going on with you, how you feeling that's what I'm doing. Okay great thank you. The other thing I would like to do is inject a little bit on the sides of your hair. You know, sometimes guys will come in here and they just want me to focus on their crown line or they want me to focus on their bald spot. But specifically with you, because you have a lot of graying on the side, mm -hmm. I would like to inject over here because the exosomes are known to bring back the pigment of the hair follicle. So I would like for you to be able to see that. Great. So what we're doing is um, just like regular PRP hair, but this time I'm adding some exosomes to it. And exosomes, the vial that we use, is a 5ml vial, and that contains about 5 billion exosomes. The reason why we're mixing the exosomes with the PRP is because exosomes are derived from stem cell and it's coming from placental stem cell. They're what we call microvesicles. And these microvesicles contain messenger RNA and microRNA. Messenger RNA is responsible for your building blocks, amino acid building blocks, which tells your body to do a cell signal, whatever it is that you're looking for specifically. So in his case, you know, I'm looking for hair growth. But also exosomes contain something called microRNA. And microRNA is an anti-inflammatory aspect, meaning that if there's any inflammation in the scalp, which most hair loss is caused from inflammation, stress, um, you know, pollution, antioxidant level, as well as hormone level too. Um, but this is just one avenue of getting that inflammation down so that we can Refeed the soil is how I really like to look at it. You know, your hair follicle sits in a bed of soil, as you will, and that's what's feeding that hair follicle. So as we get older, we get stressed, there's pollution, there's aging, there's hormone imbalance, that soil becomes weak. So then it's no longer feeding the root system, which means it's no longer feeding the tree trunk. And the tree trunk is the hair follicle itself. So if we can get that um, soil back to normal response, then we can actually feed the roots again, feed the tree trunk, and get that hair follicle to grow the way that it's supposed to. How are you doing, David? Great. Great. Yeah, so it really just kind of depends on your level. Um, I just had a patient in here yesterday who was asking me the same question, and you know, there's no right or wrong answer to that. Um, some patients choose to do the hair transplants. Um, it's a little bit more costly. It's more invasive. Um, and then I have a patient who, she just wants to start real basic and simple. And so we started her on Nutrafol for the next month. So it, honestly, it just depends on the level that you, you want to commit to. 
number one. Number two, the cost, obviously. Um, but I have some guys who come in here, and women, who are like, I'm sick of it. I've tried everything. I just, I want resolution right now. That's going to be the exosome PRP treatment. It is the most effective. Um, what we do as far as PRP treatment, what I'll tell patients is there's four stages of hair growth. So every month is a different stage. So you need to come in once a month for four months um, for the PRP. With the exosomes, I will only add the exosomes for the very first treatment. And then I'll just have you come back and we'll just do just the PRP um, for the next three treatments. And allow the stem cells to really work because stem cells do, stem cells are exosomes. Um, they, they can take a good three months for them to actually do what they're supposed to. So it's kind of like the perfect storm is the way I like to look at it. You know what? Um, there isn't, um, because it does have that micro RNA aspect to it. So it's looking for any kind of inflammation and it's going after it and attacking it. So that's, what's kind of nice. Um, and we do get the exosomes from one placental source um, that's been tested and free of any kind of disease or illness. I always just want to let these patients know it can honestly take four to six weeks before you see anything because, you know, it takes time for new tissue to grow just like it takes time for new hair follicles to grow. So don't expect any kind of magic tomorrow or in a week, but definitely four to six weeks you'll start to see something. The other thing I should mention is you must have hair follicle present in order for hair to grow in that area and for me to treat it. So what I mean is you can't come to me and say, hey, I want you to treat, you know, I want my hair to kind of go in this pattern. So I want this treated. It doesn't work that way because there's no hair follicles in this area. But I do see small hair follicles right in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and treat even though it looks, you know, barren and allow that hair to grow. Um, so I always want to just be very clear with these guys that if they come in, you know, and they don't have hair follicle. I can't recreate hair follicle, so must have hair follicle present. Uh, I am not a fan of needles, and I was really dreading this. And I can tell you, it was it was great. Um, they she uses like a little vibration thing to kind of distract the nerve, and it it worked. It I I was expecting a lot worse, and it was very tolerable. Um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it went a lot quicker. I was I'm like, wait, we're done already? So it was great. Okay, so David, your homework is going to include the Theradome helmet. The Theradome helmet will be worn twice a week for 20 minutes. Don't worry about timing it, she talks to you. Um, so once you plug it into the wall and you press start, she does a countdown for you. Okay, cool. What this offers is basically like red light therapy. Red light therapy has been known to uh, reduce inflammation, which inflammation is part of the root cause of hair loss, but it also goes down to cellular level increasing hair follicle growth. Um, so that's step one. Step two, I'm gonna have you start Nutrafol. Nutrafol is basically a supplement, is the way I like you guys to think about it. Is This is your new multivitamin for your hair growth. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take four capsules. Usually I have you take it in the morning. The reason why I have you do that is because believe it or not, most patients get a burst of energy from it and they actually are in a better mood. They feel better throughout the day. So you're welcome thinking about your mood. <laughs> Make sure you take it with food though because it is a fat soluble vitamin and it does need food in order to be absorbed. A um, couple things in here is it does contain ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is known to help cortisol. So again, adrenal fatigue, which is why most patients feel so good, but helping with the inflammation of the hair follicle and then also inhibiting that conversion of testosterone to DHT, which is one of the main leading causes of hormonal hair loss. Um, then we have zinc thymolin. Zinc thymolin is a foam wash, or what I like to kind of call, it's like a mousse, really. Um, it's a peptide, so amino acids in a chain that looks identical to a cell signal in your body. 
So this has been found to promote hair growth and decrease the amount of shedding that you have. So what I'll hear from my patients is just in that first month of them using this foam wash, they're no longer pulling um, hair out of their brush or in the shower. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be two pumps. You're gonna put it into your scalp at night. Something I will say though is the two pumps is very small. So when you see it in your palm, you're kind of like, that's not gonna get all of my scalp. Just make sure that you're rubbing it in really good. It, it is enough. Um, and then the last thing that I started doing with everybody is placing them on Sermorlin. Sermorlin is another peptide. The reason why I'm doing this is because Sermorlin promotes angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is production of blood vessels. And this is my way of kind of feeding that tissue, as well as um, upregulating your own mesenchymal stem cell production. So again, you know, we just got done putting exosomes into your scalp. Well, why not, you know, make your own stem cells work as effective as well? Um, with the trochies, these are trochies, okay. and what I like to say is, they're meant to be like a dinner mint. You don't chew them, you don't swallow them, you suck on them. It's supposed to be a sublingual. Um, I usually say about an hour after dinner because it can cause drowsiness, and so if it does, you're just getting ready to go to bed. Um, so that's basically what I'll send you home with. And then I'm going to see you back in a month, and we're just going to do a regular PRP treatment. Sound good? Sounds great. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. If you're interested in our complete exosome hair protocol, go to our website at thenovacenter.com.